In this video, we are going to kick off the Father's Day celebration moving forward till the 19th and a quick tour what's happening inside the Volkswagen car display. If you're down with that, then check this video out! Hi guys! So I'm back at Robinson's Magnolia because I was notified by their social media page that there will be another car display but this time by Volkswagen. Come, let's check them out! So basically, these are the vintage Volkswagen car display and notice there's a lot of Beatles inside which we will explore a bit. Oh look, even the kids can get enough of the convertible. The first car I stumbled upon is this red convertible 1969 Carman Ghia Cabriolet this is my first time to see a Volkswagen two-door car. Next is this blue 1974 1303S Super Beetle. That's what I called bringing back the former glory paint job applied by Ica Paint. These kind of automotive paints bring wonders, especially the vintage cars. Beside is the 1971 1302S Super Beetle. The yellow body paint looks like a bumblebee from Transformer, but it's not. Good thing this car club thought of putting the vintage car name so it can be identified properly. This beetle looks unusual. Aside from the paint job, the owner must have decided to remove the roof and replace it with a black tarpaulin cover in, in order to look like a convertible beetle. Well, this car is cool. This is the only Volkswagen van display here in Magnolia. The 1970 double sliding door combi. This van is classic. And reminds me of the 1970s hippies. I'll go back to where I started. So again on my tree is the Volkswagen convertible. Then you could see almost all the displays here are the Beatles made from the different years. By the way, this event is made possible by the Volkswagen Club of the Philippines. In line with Robinson's small Father's Day team, quote unquote cheers to dad. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Walter running the Kurumapol channel. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated what's happening in the metro and let's go back! Let's rewind the clock further shall we? Good! So this is the 1957 oval window beetle. If you notice the rear window is indeed an oval shape. Next is the 1963 bug eye beetle. The headlights are indeed inspired by the bug eye insect. What's make it look like a bug eye It's because it added a shiny metallic circle around the headlights. Another bug eye beetle but this time it's made in 1966. I personally thought that the car aesthetics or design looks almost the same as the earlier model. The last beetle display here is the 1969 Parkerfer beetle. I'm no German so I'm not sure if I pronounce it right. Interestingly, it has a rack on the roof. The final car is the 1969 Parkerfer beetle convertible. Design wise, it's similar to the Carman Ghia Cabriolet convertible that I covered earlier. I wonder as to how fast it will go. Well, this Volkswagen car display made me appreciate vintage cars more. What's interesting is the process of restoring the said cars from its original state, at least. It still boggles my mind as to why Volkswagen doesn't produce especially the convertibles anymore. Hmm, well I guess time will tell. It's a wrap! Signing off from Robinson's Magnolia, Quezon City. This is Walter saying thanks for watching. Happy Father's Day and yun na muna!